Okay, cycle two, week 16, fine art. We are studying Monet this week. So um, Claude Monet actually started taking art classes when he was about 10 years old. And then he would sit in school and draw caricatures of his teachers. Um, so that's kind of a fun um, piece of information that you might want to share with your students. Some of his, a couple of his caricatures are printed here in the book. Um, <clears throat> but Monet, basically, uh, he and some other painters kind of kicked off the Impressionist movement. And they would paint what's called plein air, which is French for outside air or open air. And so they would go outside and they would paint, you know, a landscape or a piece of what they see. But they painted it with not as much detail as um, some of the realistic painters before them. Um, they would draw a landscape maybe at different times of the day or in different seasons, kind of like the haystacks um, that Monet did. And those are in here too. Um, a fun integration for science is that you could combine plein air painting with... Um, nature journaling and so you could have your nature journaling and then the drawing of what you see and combine both of those for a fun art and science integration um, <clears throat> so the project that we are going to do we're going to be using tempera paint and I think what I'm going to do is have a table set outside with the paint palettes and the different paints and the paint brushes and stuff um, and we're also going to have clipboards, so the kids will each have a clipboard with some more of this mixed media paper on it. And so the youngest students, you can probably, you know, keep them together in a group and pick a spot um, and then just let them draw, you know, let them paint what they see. Um, for just a little bit more experience than that, you could have them um, kind of squint their eyes and see... What are the major colors, shadows, lights, shapes, things like that that they see with, when their eyes are squinted and just barely sketch that on a piece of paper or begin painting that. Um, you want to look back and forth between what you see and what you're painting. Um, I think sometimes we forget to incorporate some of the skill part that goes into painting or into sketching and the reality is that we really do want to portray an accurate presentation of what we see even if we see something with muted colors or with blurry lines we still would like for it to be an accurate representation so there's lots of room to correct what we do on paper it doesn't have to be perfect the first time um, for some of the older kids, you might want to give them a little bit more instruction. Um, her instructions say paint very short lines or stretched out dots, but don't use long sweeping brush strokes. Um, dab on the paint so it makes it slightly three-dimensional. And then keep the painting a little bit blurry by not defining any of the lines or by outlining any of the things that you're drawing. Um, and then you could also... For some of the older kids, you could give them a clipboard and let them choose somewhere on the property where they could go and draw something that they see. Um, some of the boys might rather draw the playground, make it into a fort or a castle. Some of them might um, prefer the garden or the volleyball um, courts. So anything, but just try to have them recreate as best they can that impressionist style. And then um, for her things, her suggestions to do at home, um, she said to try the same landscape with a different medium. So, um, you know, look at the landscape that they painted while they were at CC, and then during the week have them recreate that same thing with colors or with crayons or with colored pencils or just, you know, regular pencil. Um, and then also they could just explore some more of Monet's paintings and try to recreate it for themselves. So... That is Monet, and that's what we will be doing for week 16.